<laughs> it's Philly is funny with Bennett and Boss. Yes. Wow. No, not mine. Not yours. Okay. Yeah. Some. You know, I, it's weird because I have to speak for myself, but I also speak for the group. You right. Know right. I mean? Right. So, like, me and Pedro, we did a show, um, at some janky dive bar here, and oh, I mean, it was janky. It was the type that you walk in and you're like, "What am I doing here?" <laughs> What went wrong Where with my career? You know when your foot sticks to the ground because it hasn't <laughs> oh, been mopped no. in years? That's right, the right. type of place. But um, <laughs> it was it was really small. We put about 30 people in there, and I was like, you know what? I think if we if we made this bigger and just c- kind of targeted m- maybe a, a more Colombian audience, um, we'd be able to do something. Right. And And then I thought to myself that day, I was like, oh, we'll just do it here. We'll be like a test run. We'll do 30 people, and then we'll see how it works. We'll get the word out. And then I was like, no, you got to dream bigger. Do, you know, think bigger. Mm-hmm. And here we are at the Punchline, to, you know, tonight. Which is my favorite room in the city. Like, Punchline is a great room to do comedy in. Dude, it's my first. I haven't even been in that building. Oh, no. no. Oh, it's great. It's I great drove scene. by the other day, but they were closed. I looked like that creep just kind of, like, looking in, <laughs> <Right>. you know? <laughs> It's uh, it's one of the best rooms in the city, if not the best, and a great area of Philadelphia too, and like the Fishtown area. Right, right, right. Um, so I think you're gonna have a lot of fun, and the, the floors are much cleaner. Yeah, bathrooms are nice. I think you can judge a place by their bathroom. Oh yeah, of course. You know what I mean? They have like they, they do. It's they got true, nice bathrooms, yeah. clean stalls. Yeah. What do you you know what I thought about too? Now that when you when whenever you go to a venue and they have a bathroom attendant, most people are like, oh god, I gotta tip this person. Right. They keep the bathrooms clean. Yeah. Give the guy a dollar or two. <laughs> Give the girl a dollar or two because if not, you walk into like major slop. Oh my god! And that's even worse. So worse. Yeah, I was in I was in New Orleans one time. <laughs> the story's <laughs> freaking horrible, but I was in um I was in New Orleans one time and I got I got wasted. Of course, like who goes to New Orleans and doesn't Sober, get wasted, yeah. right? So I was hammered and I walked into this bathroom to use it and I just could not even walk and I slipped and it was in, <gasps> it was just disastrous. And ever since then. I don't drink that much, and <laughs> I I always appreciate a bathroom right. attendant. You know, I'm the like, worst place to fall. Uh, it was in a New Orleans dude, bathroom. It was drunk. bad. It was so bad that I immediately like my buddies were waiting for me outside on Bourbon Street. I was just like, I gotta go, guys, and I just went to the hotel, called it night. I had a shower. I was like, I'm I done. Think about life for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I might die tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're so happy to have you here, uh, kicking off. This uh, terrific show we're hearing about, Punchline Philly tonight. Yeah, man. Thank um, you so much. So with this podcast, we do kind of like this uh, Philly Five, like some five topical um, uh, things that are going on, whether it's in the city or just national. Laura's been prepping up some stuff that's been uh, going on. I have no idea what she's about to say. Okay. Neither do you, obviously. So what is happening in the world, Laura Boss? All right. So yeah, these are just fun things. We get to know each other, all right? <laughs> uh, so one of the stories going on is that Vermont is thinking about having emojis on their license plate, and I feel like you can tell a lot about a person <laughs> based on their use of emojis. I think very much so, yeah. yeah. So, what would be on your license plate? Oh, man. The, you know how when you, I, I have an iPhone, and whenever you go to your most used emojis, mm-hmm. the one that you use the most in the top left? Yeah, right. Well, that one is the 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 little guy that's laughing with the uh, with the yeah. kind of tears yeah. coming out of his eye, um, that would be mine because that's I'm always laughing. I'm always trying to make people laugh. That one's on the top left. But whenever you use uh, that top left emoji, you have to be careful because when you swipe one time to the next set of emojis, it's the kiss emoji. So <laughs> some t- I've sent out a kiss emoji when I when I really wanted to send out a smile emoji, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful. Yeah, I'm picturing like uh, cops having to pull people over in Vermont after like these emojis. Oh my like, god, that's yeah. hilarious. Uh, we have a uh, a white Honda license plate. Uh, what egg what is plant. that? Is that an <laughs> eggplant emoji? Egg yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Plant. Come again? Yeah. Squirrel? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. I remember when yeah. the license plates moved into having the website. Yeah. Right. So I know I know PA has it because I just saw one. And I'm from Florida, so it's like my sunshine state or something like that. But when they first came out, they were really long, and they had a, a, a you know a bunch of like back backs. Uh, yeah. What's it called? Uh, the backslash. Back, backslash. Backslash. Yeah. Backslash, and I yeah. was like, how is someone supposed to remember this <laughs> long website <laughs> while you're yeah, driving? I already forgot it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, what would your uh, what would your license plate be? Well, my top ones are uh, the. One eye closed, it's st- tongue sticking out. Okay. Classic. That's my favorite. Oh. Um, a little sarcastic face. Oh, yeah, that one's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, the puppy dog face <laughs> and the evil purple horn face. Oh, jeez. Oh. I don't know why. You would always get pulled over. Yeah. yeah. yeah they, won't, they won't trust your ass. Jeez. That means you're always up to no good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Look at the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> would people back off of you if you have, like, the sick emoji? 
They are, yeah. Like multiple yeah. vomiting faces. <laughs> like, don't get too close to that guy. Right, right, right. He's contagious. Have you ever looked at all the other emojis that, like, you never use? Yeah. There's yeah. so many it's on there. what's out there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, one day I, I, I one day I took like ten minutes and I went through every single page and every <laughs> single one, and I was like, man, I've never seen this one. There was like a dragon. <laughs> right. Yeah. They keep on making new yeah. ones. Uh, yeah. I don't. Uh, I think I use. Actually, you know what? This is actually a good thing. I should probably look what I, my most uses. Um, ha- <laughs> hard eye emoji. Ooh. Yeah, with the, with the face with the hard eyes. Yeah. Um, a puppy, a cat, a dog. I have a lot of animals. Right. I have like thirty pets and zero friends. So this is this is <laughs> this is my this is my life right here. These are my emojis. Oh well. Uh well I'm not going to Vermont anyway, so whatever. So, whatever. <laughs> Laura, what's what else is happening? Uh what do we got? So I found this to be interesting. Uh more Americans this is a recent poll. More Americans are going to libraries than to the movies. So I'm wondering <laughs> if anybody in this room has read a book lately. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, no, no you're just, you're <laughs> yes, just being a no. dick. Yeah, I'm being an asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get ten pages in and then I'm done. I'm like, this was a good book. I won't read a book, like physical book, but I'll read stuff online. Does that count? No. Articles online? No, Oscar. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I mean, I, I think that works. Right. Um, I think it counts. You know, if if you have a Kindle, you know, that's the equivalent of a book. Sure. I haven't been to the library in forever, except when my internet went down. I was like, oh, you know, I gotta go. Yeah. But. Yeah, I, I haven't read a book in, in a long Last time. Last time I went to the library was actually two years ago, and I had to go there because you have to use a typewriter for this thing I had to do for my divorce. It had to oh be. My God. I, I know it's sad, right? <laughs> so that's the last time I went to a library. You have to, for some reason, the last part of the divorce process, I had to use a typewriter, and the only place I knew how to typewriter was the library. So I'm in there doing my divorce work. Yeah, dude. How? how so how, thanks for bringing that I up, know. Laura. <laughs> Jesus, how outdated is that? I know. So- my God, that Seriously. typewriter? That's typewriter. like 1800. And I screwed up so many times. I had to get the people to like help me do it. And like I had to explain to them what I'm doing. Like, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> made a few wrong turns in my life, and here I am. And uh, But yeah, that's the last time. What about you, Justin? No, he doesn't read. Remember. You don't Actually, read. Actually, I, I go and I check out books. I borrow them, and then I never read them. They just sit there on end displays. Do you return them? Sometimes. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, libraries have a lot of great resources. We just don't go. Like, you just don't go. I, I remember that. Now I'm thinking about it. The last time I went to a library was because I was taking a Photoshop class, and they offered for free. What? And oh, they wow. had this this giant lab of Macs. Really? Yeah, but you have to, you know, you have to go through like several rooms to get to this. It's almost like a vault, you know, because there's a lot of inventory in there. But right. everything before is just old, old books and homeless people in <laughs> in New York just hanging out and then you get through that part and then there's like students in there learning how to use Photoshop and I was like, wow, this is crazy. I had no idea. Yeah, man. Libraries are pretty advanced these days. All right. They have America. a lot of DVDs. They do. You still yeah, watch do. DVDs, I know. So it's like a blockbuster too? It is. And they have uh, <laughs> this they is have, crazy. Yes, this is like the literally last blockbuster. <laughs> when I used to live in the Burbs, they used to always have them like the movie as soon as they came out on to own, you could get at the library. And I was like, all right. Hmm. So I just go out with a stack of Instead of books, wow. I'm learning so much in this podcast wow. this morning. And now you can wow, download thanks, ebooks. So I don't know if there's a really need to go into the books. Yeah, well, next time I get divorced, I'll check that all out. That's <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saving that clip. Well, uh, in the same vein, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's another story happening for around Valentine's Day. Uh, you can name a cockroach after your ex. Ah, oh, there we go. There it all go, comes Bennett. full circle. Uh, but yeah. I would like to hear your stories of who you would name and why. Wow. So this is where? Where you can do this? Uh, I believe it was in Texas. Oh, Texas? that's right. The, yeah. the El Paso Zoo. You can name a cockroach after your ex. Yes. That's pretty so great. Let's oh get to know <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, what are you feeling, Oscar? Name a cockroach after. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a pretty good, X. like. And X. It's a fun way to spend your Valentine's Day. It's a, that's a unique way. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you this much. I live in New York City, and I live in a big building, and we have a little roach problem in there. So <laughs> that was the first thing I thought of. I was like, no. <laughs> uh, but if. <laughs> Now the next time I catch one, I'm gonna be like, "Oh, I gotta name this one." <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I don't know. I ah, God, I feel like I'm doing you know a disservice to this person, but uh, it would be Paola. <laughs> Paula. Paula, <laughs> yeah, Paula the cockroach. Oh yeah, man, yeah. <laughs> she she made me go through some things. Is this a long time ago or recent? This is a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so long ago that there's no way that she will 
hear this. Right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> you that's know why, what I mean? That's why I'm going to go with Lucy, my first, like, high school girlfriend. She slept with the entire, my entire uh, high school. Like, while you were friends dating? of mine. Yeah, while we were dating, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's my first entry into, like, romance, into, like, relationships was, was Lucy. Wow, that's wow. a rough start, man. It's a rough start. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. So no Lucy wonder you got a divorce. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was my trajectory. Oh, my yeah. God. Well, that's how that's how when you have kids yeah and you're going through this name selection process you know someone's like oh what about jennifer and you're like i freaking hate jennifer yeah. like <laughs> no absolutely way. not because some jennifer did you wrong right. back in the yeah. day and that's usually how names are 100 you know, percent. yeah do you have kids i don't nope. yeah 41 years old no wife no kids I've dodged every bullet. Doing it nice. right. Yeah. yeah. Like I don't know if Columbian I'm doing it right. George Clooney. I like <laughs> yeah. it. Good for you, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. What else happened, uh, Laura? This one was also random. We've, you know, we're a radio station, so we got some new music from Justin Bieber. Oh, what? And Kesha coming out. So I want to know what you're more excited about if you had to choose. Yeah. If I had to choose between Justin Bieber and Kesha's mm. music. Yep. Oh, man. Yep. Excuse the cockroaches. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let's go back to that topic. Yep. <laughs> what um, do you listen to? Me? Yeah. Dude, I'm stuck in the 80s and 90s with hip-hop. Yeah? And R&B. I'm yeah. a big hip-hop guy. I'm a, I'm, I like I'm, to hear that. Yeah, I'm Biggie. I'm Wu-Tang. I'm too short. Ah. Those are my top three. Snoop Dogg, Warren G. Yeah, man. Yeah. I always go back to like the uh, the old school Wu Tang, Thirty Six Chambers. Love it. It's my one, one of, the, of my favorites. One of the best hip hop albums so ever made. It's so awesome. I listen to it sometimes before I I go on stage. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you that. Like anything yeah. you do, like Track prior six. to going on stage. Yeah. 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 Mysteries of chess boxing, man. Oh I just get God. all crazy. I get all. I start doing push ups. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm from Staten Island, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's like your that's like your before stage, you know, thing. Like you're like yeah, ritual? that or too short just to get a little. Nice. Yeah. Uh, but but I guess to answer the question, if if, if Bieber's doing a collab with somebody, maybe yeah. that. But I'm go- I I don't know too much too much of Kesha's music. But yeah. I'm just I'm just gonna throw out Kesha. Sure, why not? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's not Bieber, so yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what's fair. what's uh, the fifth on your list for the Philly uh, Five? You know, what what's your Super Bowl prediction? Oh man, this is a tough one, but I'm gonna have to say it's, it'll be close. But I think um, I think Kansas City has a high uh, and uh, th- their offense puts up a lot of points really quick. You know, we've mm-hmm. seen it the last couple of weeks. M- maybe they fell behind, but then they were just like, oh, that's right, we have to play. And then <laughs> they go out and score like seven touchdowns in three minutes. So um, I know San Francisco's good, but they're more of a balanced offense mm-hmm. where if you pass a lot, the secondary can't catch up. Right. You know what I mean? You'll have them on their toes. The Chiefs are so explosive. Just throw away from Richard Sherman, and I think you'll be fine. Right, right, yeah. right. And also, I'm going to tie it into Philly here. I want Andy Reid to win. Yeah. yeah. That guy needs great. to win. Are you a betting man? Are you going to throw money on this? Dude, I'm a degenerate gambler. <laughs> are you really? It's actually, I got to maybe check myself in. Really? Yeah, I don't even have money to gamble. I just gamble. Yeah. Are I'm you like, a sports gambler, or what's your what's your um, I do I, I do like gambling on sports. I don't get too crazy into like spreads and mm. this and that. I just like listen, who's gonna win, who's not gonna win. That's it. All, all gut feeling? Yeah, well, yeah, I go with the heart. So I'm always I'm from Miami, so I always bet on the dolphins and that's why I have no money. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I'm a garbage oh, better when no. it comes to, yeah, I'm horrible. <laughs> there was one time I was doing fantasy. I retired from fantasy. I know I'm never Same I, here. I haven't done it in ten years and every year yeah. I get an offer and I'm like, dude, my Sundays are the best. Right. But there was I one, guess. there was one particular season that I put all Dolphins and all ex Florida Gators on my team <laughs> just because that's where my heart is, and I ended up like two and a thousand, you know. <laughs> and I was like, I'm never doing this again because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I do like gambling at the casino on roulette and craps. Crap, yeah. Yeah. So those, and I play the lottery like an old Puerto Rican grandmother. I'll do just the, literally like <laughs> every day. <laughs> really? Oh yeah. I do the scratch offs every day. It's so fair. funny. I was I was yeah. in line waiting to buy a lottery ticket, and there was this like older lady buying scratch off tickets in front of me and when i don't i don't know why i don't like scratch off that much so i'm i'm, I'm internally i'm judging this lady oh, I'm it's like, a waste oh I- i'm like this lady's just wasting her money on these scratch offs <laughs> then she gets out of the way and i'm like i'll take five quick picks <laughs> I'm, like, I'm the same person i just don't just have a, to scratch just a different game yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh i lose constantly on the scratch offs we, yeah. we call it loser dust like when you scratch it's like oh well, my loser dust i never win never win I you hear Christmas. people winning. Yeah, yeah I you won what? $750 what? for Christmas. All 
on a two dollar scratch off. No wow. way. Yeah. Dude. What'd you spend it on? Everything. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, that like, never happens to me. No but, good things like that but, happen like, to me. Trying Aww. to get it cashed here in the city is a nightmare. Like I went to yeah. eight grocery stores, five Wawa's, uh, like Seven Elevens. <laughs> Nobody could cash until I found like a shop right all the way in South Philly. <laughs> so, is, what, is there a certain amount? Uh, I think so. Yeah, right? they always, it's like six hundred, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. They, they go up to they go to like uh, I don't have that much, <laughs> and it's like okay, well then where can I go? Yeah. This so. is this is how degenerate it's I am. problems right there, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Where can I get this I money? Do, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel bad for you. If you're looking for sympathy, got the wrong guy. Dude, I, I dated this girl who would mock me for buying lottery tickets, and she's like, you know you're never going to win. And I'm like, that only fuels me to buy more right. because if I do win, this is what I told her. I go, if I win, I'm going to pay off your student loans, and then I'm going to dump you. That's that's what's <laughs> happening. And she's like, I, you know, I, I, I'll I take that. You know, she went to an Ivy League school, so she got a lot of debt. Right, right. And then ever since then, believe it or not, I started keeping my losing lottery tickets. So yeah. I have a shoebox filled with lottery tickets that I haven't won anything. So when I do win, because you have to believe. Sure. I can count how much. Because. Because people are like, oh, you're just wasting money. At the end of the year, you could have spent, how much do you spend on it? 2000 You could have put 2000 towards a vacation. Right. Sure, why not? But you know what? Let me save up. Even if it takes 10 years and I rack up $20,000 over the 10 years of just throwing out money, if you hit $300 million, right. it's... That twenty thousand dollars is nothing. It's a good investment. It's, it's, a, it's the it's the best <laughs> invest. It's the best worst <laughs> investment. <laughs> Make your money work for you. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Great. You Jeez. need a, like a gambling endorsement or something. Oh man, I I need to win first. So then there was okay. So listen, I used yeah. to work for Carnival Cruise Lines um, as a comedian on their ships, and I would fly into the Bahamas. Okay. So the ship was docked. I'd get there around 4 o'clock on Saturday. I'd take a nap from all the trajectory of traveling. I'd wake up around 10, then I would go to Atlantis. And there was one particular time where I had my rent money. I had $700 at the time Mm -hmm. in my pocket, and I walked in so confidently into this uh, roulette table, and I was like, I just put down $700, and I I put it on black. And in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to double my money, and I won't have to work as hard next month to pay rent. The dude spun the wheel and landed on red, and my heart literally sank. And the guy took my 700 bucks like it was nothing. I had taken a cab there. I walked out again, and the same cab driver was there waiting to pick somebody up. And I got in the same cab, and the guy was like, that fast? And I was like, yes, <laughs> take me back to the ship. Back. I don't want to talk about it. And, oh, yeah, that was a learning God. lesson. What cojones, though? I like that. 700. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> no, I've done that a couple times. I've won, yeah, I've won, like, you know, 2,000 here and there. But yeah. but that's the most I've ever put. And I felt, oh, man, I, God, I felt horrible. I've, I've had that feeling. Not $700, but, like, a few hundred. And it, like, just rips your soul out. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. it's so deflating. You think of every hour. Yeah. You know, because if you get paid by the hour, or even if you're on salary and you do the by the hour math, sure. you're like, this many hours. Right. Just... Or I like factoring like the bills I could have paid. Like that could have been a car payment. That could have been this. And that, but it's not. And yeah. that. And I... or, or things that you want. Some shoes, sure. an eye watch. Sure. I don't know. All that. Just down the drain. Yeah. Yeah. No. This is sad and depressing, but I kind of feel like ditching work and going to the casino right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. I'll yeah. go with you. Right? Like, I'll totally go. <laughs> Despite Sugar everything house. you just said, yeah. let's go gamble. Let's Let's go Sugar House Rivers now. Mm-hmm. Rivers Casino, Rivers. Yeah, uh, which is actually right by Punchline. Oh, God, don't yeah. tell me. It's like me. right across the street. Don't it's tell right me. across don't the street. Listen, showtime's at 8 o'clock. We're done here, I don't know, in an hour. Oh, my it's God. It's a lot of time to kill. I know. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've left Punchline and went across the street to the casino. Right? Oh, it's, God. It, dude, it's right there. You can see the lights. Like, it's, it's hard. <laughs> it's like a moth to a flame. I'm just like, okay, I'm here. I'm putting blinders on. I'm looking down. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's, it's tough, dude. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about uh, the show tonight. We're really excited about it. And this is your first time doing this uh, showcase outside of New York City. Is that right? Yeah. So we started about a year ago. I put together a bunch of Colombian comedians, and it was very successful. Colombian communities are out there. They're, you know, they're out there. Uh, so we did a couple of shows in New York. Uh, every single time we were able to pack the place, uh, very good response. And uh, I took the group down to the Miami Improv last July. And on a Wednesday in the summer, which is a tough day, any, first of all, Wednesday's tough, sure. right, to get people to go out. Uh, I think January is tough because, you know, you're getting your credit card bills. It's super cold, all that stuff. Yeah. July, people are out of town, you know, all those things considered. But we put 300 people in the, uh, in the showroom Incredible. Uh, in, in Miami. Uh, so, yeah, so this particular 
show tonight is our first venture outside of New York City where none of us really know people here, and uh, and we're looking forward to it. It's exciting. Yeah, it's awesome. So who's who's on the lineup? The lineup is uh, myself. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have Pedro Gonzalez. Pedro just uh, made his national television debut on Stephen Colbert about two weeks ago. Oh, wow. oh no way. He's super funny. Uh, we also have Alex Carabano. Alex... There was a nationwide search. HBO Latino did a nationwide search for Latino comedians, and they picked five or six, and he was one of those five or six selected throughout the whole country, and then they had this contest, and he won the whole thing. No way. So he was able to film his own uh, HBO half-hour Latino comedy Dude, special. Dude, that's amazing. So he just shot that in November. And then uh, we have Carlos Gonzalez, who's a longtime comedy, comedy veteran in New York City, and Santi Espinoza, who blows my mind because he does comedy in english spanish and french so that how you, guy how do you do that i dude i'm just starting to do it in spanish are you uh yeah but to be able to do it in three languages i i, I think that's, that's special to make people, people laugh in three different languages it's that's incredible a special skill set that's yeah. insane yeah it's hard enough to do one yeah seriously <laughs> it's yeah it's hard enough to make a group of 20 people laugh 100 percent. yeah so so yeah, we're excited. Philly Punchline tonight, 8 p.m. Um, you can get your tickets at Ticketmaster Live Nation or phillypunchline.com. Yeah. Or you can just go right up to the uh do it, baby. To the box office. Yeah. Yeah. And then put 700 on uh, black with uh, <laughs> Oscar here across the street afterwards. It's a whole yeah, night. Right. We have your whole night planned for you. I'll be there just getting free drinks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so good to see you, man. Hey, and I hope you find Philadelphia home here. Dude, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Thanks so awesome. much. Philly is funny with Bennett and Boss exclusively on radio.com.